Hey everybody, how are you? Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to do this without the microphone, so I'm gonna test and see if it's, you know, audio coming out, because I don't know if the problem is the microphone or is the cell phone, but I hope it's not a cell phone. Okay, this design is so cute, ah, look at this. And this is a, a kitty cat and I think it's perfect for Halloween. I use that picture, you see this picture there? For, um, you know, just to copy the idea and make it out, out of balloons, yes. So um, this is already a um, printed balloon. It's a hard shape, but um, I think who made this shape, it's um, uh, Juan Gonzalez, yes? LA, well, he's a really good drawer. I forgot, Magic, uh, J-Lo Magic. So you can find, he has also tutorials on YouTube, but he makes that face and it's already printed. But in case you don't have those balloons already printed, because there is different choices. Look, you have this one, but for Halloween, I don't know how cool we'll be using pink, but black, I think it's a perfect choice. Don't you think? Um, so I'm gonna make this design, not using a printed balloon, just an, any regular um, hard balloon. This is a Qualatex six inch hard balloon. So we're gonna use this one. If you have it in black, great. But if you don't have it in black, you can try purple or lime green, why not? Because those are kind of like the Halloween colors. And you can play also, make it in orange. Orange can be a cool cat. Um, but the idea is to play with the colors, you see? The colors, Halloween colors are purple, lime green, orange, black, white. Mm. You decide, you create your own design. That's great if you, you know, vary and see how it looks like. And you can always send me uh, pictures or tag me on Instagram. Because on Instagram, you can find me as Alpaca Globo. Alpaca Globo, it sounds real, but that's the name, Alpaca Globo. Awesome, now let's start. You're gonna need, I don't think many, many balloons. It's just three balloons and actually it's only two and then it's scraps. But, um, well, three come in the heart and then balloon is scraps to make the bow. But um, let's start. So first we're gonna go ahead and use the 160 wipe that where this is gonna work as what is gonna be the nails. You know, like, no nails, what, claws? right for uh, cats but you decide if you want to make it in black because if you already depending what color is the body you can play with it and make different colors so um i'm using white but you can try with other colors even it's gray why not okay so maybe gray right but i already inflated the white so let's go with a 160 white inflated like seven or yeah seven finger tail and you're gonna make this is a cool part. You're gonna make, um, with this design, a headband, a bracelet, or a wand. Just leave it like that, and the kids can hold it. Awesome, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> You're gonna make loops, and this time, small loops. So the petals are gonna be no more than three finger bubble. You know, even two and a half, that will be good enough. So you're gonna make, how many of these ones? I think I make eight. So let's see how many you can make. And I'm just making petals of two and a half or three finger bubble. And yeah, making eight or seven will be good enough. I'm counting, let me see how many I make these. Three plus four, seven. So seven, I guess, will be the number. But the good thing is about using seven petals, you will have enough here to make it into a bracelet. You always take the ear out or just leave it like this and it can be a bracelet. But you can also take the ear out and then just wrap it around and it's a bracelet. But we're going to keep it like this. I think, you know, for kids from five years old, it's kind of like easier to hold. And this is a skinny 160 balloon. That's why I think it's even easier than a 260 to hold. But um, it can be also a bracelet. Okay, you leave it like this, the 160 white, boom. Now we're going to grab the heart. Yep. We're gonna grab a heart and we're gonna inflate it. And it's always good, I think, that you have to inflate it all, all the way. And then you also make sure there's no any hole, it's gonna work this, and then you lose the air. Yep, you lose the air just like that. So, still looking at the heart, yeah, but you make sure you have here, like at least, you know, two finger space, or one and a half finger from this part, not inflated, the tip, right? And you're gonna tie it very close to the nasal. Yep. So tie it close to the nasal. And now we're gonna. The idea is we want the head to have this shape, you know, like the heart shape. But also you wanna have some body. So you're gonna have something like this. Look. Okay. So you can 
becomes inflated more, that's fine. But, but because here it seems like you can inflate more, so you can make it, you know, with more air. Maybe just only one finger, not inflated, and that will be good enough. Because also you want a big head, but it's okay if it's like this. Now you're gonna grab your 160 balloon, inflated, what, six, six finger toe, yeah. And then you're gonna, um, let's see what is better from here. I think it's better from here. So make sure this doesn't get untwist, or you can first attach the 160 cream right now or later do the side but i already did it because from here you're gonna go up all the way to this part and twist it and then here you're gonna make a pinch twist and it's like a two finger bubble pinch twist yep and then you're gonna go to the other side and you're going down so those are gonna make the, the idea to have some legs there and you try it there and now you're gonna pass this balloon 160 green right here in the center of this white flower so you can always squeeze the balloon and pass it through and to make sure it's locked you can pass it a couple of times but the next time you pass it you know make sure the last time I mean, you pass this balloon around make sure you find you know where you want to keep the tail because all this is going to be the tail so i like to put it you know right next to behind behind the body but in one side so you can always squeeze the air so that is stop so it doesn't really take you know space and distortion you know the, the position of this kitty cat that we want it to be straight and right now it's looking down but that's fine because in that center it's going to be a bow and it's going to be a kitty cat you know wearing a bow so that's gonna make everything look better. So from here you have, you see in one side of the loop, you can have a squeeze and it's kind of right in the back. Or in a little bit of the side, you see? It's not exactly the back, it's a little bit one side. And then from there, you're gonna measure, kind of like how long, let me see how long I did exactly this one. Four, eight, 12, 16, what is this? From 16, 20, 24, and maybe with 28 bubbles, that will be good enough. So we're gonna count 28. So it's four plus four, eight, 12, uh, 16, 20, 24, 28. So from here, we just cut, and we're gonna um, leave some air out. Why not? So then you cut this little excess, and all that, we're gonna roll it. We're gonna make like this, look. We're gonna go and roll and roll. So this is what I'm doing. And roll and roll with your hand. And you can make the tail any other shape if you prefer. At the end, you decide. But I like to make it all the way roller. You know, leaving here maybe free space. Like I'm gonna put this. You know, like more seven fingers. We're not rolling. And you will keep it there for a moment. Give it some heat. And then slowly you're gonna let it go. And you're gonna have that tail that it looks really good yeah, in the back. You see? So look, this is how it looks the back, and I think it's really cute. You can always accommodate this the way you want it, but I think that's a cool idea. And now um, we're gonna make that because this is like all messy right now, we're gonna make the bow. And the bow, I decided to make it orange because you don't need an entire 160 balloon, it's just scrap. So this is what you're gonna do. And a scrap, you know, I already made an extra bow with this balloon, but um, let's do it. You're gonna inflate and make a loop, very small. So this is like two finger bubble loop. Oh wait, actually I remember now, you just make two finger bubble just like this okay and then you make a two finger bubble loop and then you're gonna make another two finger bubble loop and then you're gonna make a one finger bubble pinch twist well this is the thing you decide you can make a one finger bubble pinch twist and then the center is gonna be orange or if you have time and you want to make it fancier you can just measure here two finger bubble again cut you don't need the orange anymore 
I'm just gonna grab now and a scrap. Yep, I buy you a scrap. So remember, you're still having a scrap of that 160 green, but I think it would be better with another color. So you always remember, take your clear bath where you keep all your balloon scraps 160 and pick your favorite. What do you think is gonna look cool? So I think it's gonna be cool, a little bit of purple there. So this is a purple 160 balloon and you only gonna need a little bit. It's like oh, less than one finger bubble, less. Okay, so from here I'm just measuring this little bubble. That's it, you see, very little. And that one, you are gonna uh, attach it in the center of your bowl. That's what I'm doing right now. And then, this is just a scrap, but you are gonna grab this extra tip here from the purple 160, and you're gonna uh, connect it to the head in the front, the neck. And that's gonna uh, make the design look straight, look cool. And that's what I'm doing right now, passing that around. And there we go. Oh, so awesome. I love this design. And now I'm gonna try this, uh, I mean, cut the, these pieces. And I have here my cutter piece. And that, so you have this. And remember, I always love to see what are your comments about this design. What do you think? Do you like it? I think this can also be a line twist. Why not, right? Because if you have already the heart already printed, it can work really good for a line twist. Now, Sharpie time, and this is already pre-twisted, right? Pre-printed uh, already. So um, we're gonna just make a face that I'm gonna show you. There's a lot of faces for kitty cats. So look at all those pictures that I found on Google. So you can use any of those, okay? Or you can uh, try the one that I'm gonna make right now, so you will see, and um, it's not hard. You can, it depending always on, on the time. Because all these designs, you know, and my plan is to make it for line twist. And at the end, you never know how many people is gonna be in an event, right? And if someone asks for this design, and I'm in a hurry, I'm just gonna make probably a, a printed balloon, you know? So it's already the face there. Or I can just make a very basic kitty cat face. Or um, if it's not people, and you want to surprise or people are shy and the kids doesn't want to come yet, as soon as they see something very cool and cute like this, and you take your time making the face, and a lot of other kids will come, you know, and at least the person who hire you will see that you are busy and making really cool designs. Okay, so that's a tip that it's been working for me, you know, and great because, yeah, people sometimes say, oh, you're so fast. But if there's not many people, you know, waiting in line, I can take my time to make something detailed. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna make this face. I have to stop the video to see the picture <laughs> of the face that I'm gonna show you. So um, you're just gonna grab a black sharp, in this case black, because we're using line green, and find the center of, you know, when I say the middle, I mean the middle of the, the high, this, the middle, and then from there you add the eyes. I think this is gonna look better. So um, I'm gonna make the eyes. Like probably more like a person eyes, right? That's what I'm doing. Okay, like that. Perfect. Look at that. And then in the center, the nose is gonna be just like uh, this. It's like a triangle. Triangle. There you go. Then something very simple here. In the center, I'm gonna color it black and these eyes I'm gonna uh, color it purple from the inside and see what happens yep and let's go with the other side and Doesn't look like much, you know, clear. That's the only problem. But maybe if I use some white to make the line a little bit more obvious, like that. What do you think? Maybe a circle on the side. I think a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. Then for the ears, I'm gonna grab my. You can use green if you want, or you can go with a black already and just make little. 
shapes like that. And you see, and then another one inside. And then just because I don't know, I thought it looks cute, just a little bit of that. <laughs> and then the whiskers, that whiskers, yeah, whiskers is just from, um, you see, like that, and then the other side. So I'm sure you can make this better. I know, I know. And then if you have time, you can color the nose a little bit of pink and the other side, and you can make even the cheeks. But um, I'm gonna leave it, I think, like this. Yes, no more, no more. That's all, folks. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this idea, this design, it is cute or not? Hmm? I think it's a really cool one. And for example, this one I'm gonna make it into a bracelet, so I just take the air out. You can leave if you want some air there, a little bit. Pull this part and pass it around. And that way you have a bracelet um, kitty cat, perfect for Halloween. And you can add, uh, the kids can wear it. And look at this. Hmm. I think it's a nice no, design. And remember, if you have printed balloons, uh, you can find it on your favorite online balloon store, right? Or if you go in person, even better. But I don't have one <laughs> of those great balloon stores. But here in, in Wyoming, where I live in Cheyenne, we only have probably America, and I go there when it's especially, you know, like, I don't have any balloon, you know, that the ones I need, I go there. But there you go, have a wonderful day. And I'm, let's see what I'm gonna make after this tutorial. Stay tuned and remember, look for the playlist that say on my channel, YouTube channel, it's um, Halloween designs or diseños para Halloween. And you will find lots of ideas that I've been collecting in these almost two years of uh, having this YouTube channel. Okay, so then you will have great ideas for Halloween. Bye bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So you go um, go donate to my uh, PayPal account, alpacaglobal at gmail.com. And I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you, bye.